Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManet.com. In this quick video, I want to show you how to create your own custom domain in GetResponse. So in the previous GetResponse video, we went ahead and created our landing page from start to finish. However, the URL that we were using looked something like this. So it had our username followed by the numbers and it just didn't look too good, okay? So we want to be able to use our own domain. Now I set up my domain called gr.evonmana.com. So I used a subdomain, the gr, uh, my domain, evonmana.com, and then I just used a subdomain for it. You can use whatever domain you want, and I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So the first thing you have to do is go into your domain registrar. Now for me, my domain registrar is Namecheap, but I pointed the name service to Cloudflare. So wherever you are, whether it's Namecheap, GoDaddy, Bluehost, right, uh, HostGator, wh wherever you are, go into the DNS settings of that domain, okay? And you should see something like this, where it's gonna ask you to add a record. Um, you're gonna have some options, a record, CNAME record, you know, TXT, all that. So go into wherever this is. In my case, it's Cloudflare. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select CNAME and you will select the name that you want for your domain. So our domain that we're using is called trackingyoursales.com. That's our domain that we're using. Again, whatever domain you have, use it here. The one thing you should note is that you, if you already have something, like you have content on this domain, don't change anything, okay? So whatever options or settings you have here, do not change them. It might break your site. And you know that's not the point of this video. Uh, so leave everything as is. The only thing you're gonna do here is select CNAME and add a name. Now the name is the subdomain. So in our case, you know, here where I made it, it was GR for get response. For your case, you could do whatever you want. You could say blog, you can say hi, you could say YouTube, right? Whatever you want to. Um, so let's say you wanna make it blog, right? So next we have to enter the target. For target, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna copy this option here, or just remember it, squeeze.gr8.com. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna paste it here. And if you're using any domain registrar, that's it. You click save and you're good to go. You just have to give it a bit, up to 24 hours, and then add it to your GetResponse account. If you're using Cloudflare like me, that's really the only exception. Make sure you deselect it and you, you know, remove that option, make it great, and then click save. And then that's it, okay? So we're done here. Now you have to go back to GetResponse, click on add new domain, and now you're gonna add blog dot and then you enter your domain which in our case was tracking your sales.com you click on add domain and give it a second and it might uh if you click on it here it's gonna say that it's gonna verify so if you added it successfully as i have here generally within a few hours it should work uh, but give them up to 24 hours and you will be able to use this domain for your website instead of this one okay so for the landing page that we created, it's gonna say blog.trackingyoursales.com. And that is it. I hope this was helpful. Check out my Get Response playlist if you haven't yet, so you can learn how to create a landing page, how to create autoresponders. You can take a look at my autoresponder sequence and all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.